did something this year. Look at this. This is the expanded garden. Almost everything in it got entirely eaten up by some nasty critters. And now for the greatest tragedy, our big polar bear pumpkin on its way to its 50 to 100 poundsness has been entirely infected by the cucumber beetle, which is feasting upon it right now and laughing. Yeah, they're everywhere in there. It's ridiculous. And now I'm learning that they can infect other things like our cabbages over here. We bought these marigolds because they're famous for uh, being a good plant for protecting your garden. I believe they attract bugs that usually feast upon bad bugs. But this year, instead, they've become a little motel for the cucumber beetle. There's another one. It's just a show. A lot of people say cucumber beetles only affect a few plants, but uh, I believe they have gone as far as to kill all of our pumpkins, to have infected our sauerkraut cabbages here, and all of our cucumbers, and they certainly look like they're staying for the winter because they house themselves in wood, and we have wood chips everywhere. So next year, the plan is to plant our cucumbers and all of this variety of plant at the last possible moment, uh, because at that point, a lot of the cucumber beetles will have moved on thinking there's no food for them here. Uh, because this year, they, they won. They got us. I managed to make two things of pickles. <laughs> but, it's just how it goes sometimes. We have 39 tomato plants. We have a whole trench of asparagus. Mother Nature will be different next year. We'll see what happens then. Oh, there we have the burn pile. I'm not even going to chance putting this into our compost so that the beetles could potentially house themselves there over the winter. I'm sure we'll have to fight them off, but better to put it over here. You can't make these guys up. It's pretty funny. All these different pumpkins we are growing, we still have a fair representation of what exactly was going on. Each one of these is a different type of pumpkin. That green one in front will turn all yellow. But as you can see, they're absolutely covered in beetles right now who like them just as much as we do. On the other front, I was gone just four days, didn't really pay much attention to what was happening in the garden, and it looks like our strawberries were entirely decimated by another pig, uh, predator pest. Look at that. And they were just coming around for a second round of strawberries. And these guys, I'm not even sure what they are, but they they look like, uh, I think they call them garden fleas or some other kind of tiny black beetle. But we're going to have to spray it all with BT today. Alright guys, it looks like the uh, grossness is going to continue. We just pulled out the pumpkins and uh, got rid of the cucumber beetles yesterday and just found this Look this morning. These disgusting creatures. I have heard that they're called squash beetles and naturally they are on our squash. It's really no easy way to look at these guys. Disgusting creatures. And the thing we're going to have to do to get rid of them, because they infect everything the exact same way the cucumber beetles did, is we're going to have to put them in a bunch of soapy water. Let's see how carefully I can do this. Well, after taking a look and trying to handpick the splash beetles off, I've just found huge quantities of them throughout the grass and mulch beneath the plants. It's been a long uh, season of zucchini already at this point, and since we've gotten rid of almost everything that cucumber beetles and uh, squash beetles seem to enjoy eating, I think we might as well get rid of these last three zucchini plants here. In other parts of the garden we have uh, butternut squash coming in, as well as a few other zucchini plants. So if we're lucky, if we take this out, it won't spread there. Um, as I said, we definitely have already been eating tons of zucchini and these things seem to pop out one or two of these a day for weeks now, so it's not going to be the biggest loss. And we've already frozen a ton of it, which is good. 
Um, and man, I don't want these buggers showing up again next year. This year was definitely enough fun. But this side of the garden, it's still pretty much perfect. And look at these corn. It's time for the corn. These are beautiful.